Easter will be here soon, and it's time for bunnies. This is Chris from Needlepointers.com, and today I'd like to show you how to sew up some cute stuffed bunny decorations using our free pattern and tutorial. I found some cute spring fabrics in my stash to make these bunnies, but this project is good for using up some of those scrap fabrics. I used my serger to sew along the edges of the bunnies, but this can easily be made with a sewing machine also. I will show you both methods in this tutorial. I've decorated my bunnies with some ribbon and a small pom-pom for the tail. You can decorate your bunnies with anything you have left over or leave them as is. To make the fabric bunnies, you will need some fabrics, and this is a perfect project to use up some scraps if you have them, so search through your scrap bin. Polyfill stuffing, ribbon or twine, palms if you want a bun bunny's tail, fabric glue to glue on the tail. You could have other decorations like different laces or beads, and you'll need this free printable PDF pattern available on our website. Look in the description of this video for a link to the free written tutorial for this stuffed bunny. On the page will be a link to this PDF printable pattern. Download that pattern and print it out. Pick out fabric that's at least 4 by 8 inches in size. You will use two fabrics for each bunny. You can use the same fabric for the front and the back or mix it up with different fabrics. Layer two pieces of fabric with the wrong sides together. For this project, we're, since we're not turning it, we put the wrong sides together. Pin the template to the fabric. And then cut it out. Cut along the line on the template. Keep the two pieces of fabric together and head on over to your serger or sewing machine. You may want to cut out a bunch of these little guys at once because they're fast to sew up once you get started. I will first show how to sew the bunny with a serger sewing machine. If you don't have a serger, keep watching or fast forward and I'll show you how to sew it on a regular sewing machine. Set up your serger for a rolled hem stitch and if you have it, use a stretched thread. This is actually almost the same stitch I use for making fabric napkins. The rolled hem uses three threads for the overlocking stitch. Remove the left side needle from your overlocker. Slightly tighten the screw for the removed needle and put it aside. If you have a three thread overlocker, do not remove any thread or needles. Set your stitch length to one. The standard stitch length is two and a half, so this length is less than half the normal length. Next, adjust the tension knobs as follows. Before making adjustments, write down your original settings so you can return to them after finishing this project. The left thread green with the needle is set to a five, which is a little looser than normal. The thread with the loops blue is set to its lowest setting at one. The thread at the top of the loops red is set to the tightest setting at nine. Last, for these bunnies, we don't want to trim the fabric, so we will disengage the cutter. On my machine, the cutter's disengagement switch is under this cover. I push this in, and you can see that the cutter here is becoming, is turning down. We're ready to sew the bunny, and we're going to sew it starting from the tip of his ear, going down the side, and then we're going to stop and leave an opening at the bottom. So I will sew each side of the bunny first, then sew across the ears, and then we'll stuff it. You'll want to lift your presser foot and place the tip of the bunny's ear underneath the presser foot and just at the beginning of where your needle is. You'll want to have a little bit showing on the inside of your presser foot, so there will be a little bit that will turn under as you sew. Start stitching down the bunny, and as you go along, you might need to lift your presser foot slightly 
and continue to go around the curves. When you get to the inside corner, stop with your needle down, lift your presser foot, and turn. So there's the one side sewn. I'm going to now flip the bunny over and then sew down the other side. And I will be back in a couple minutes. So I've sewn down the two sides of the bunny. And I left this gap open here. We'll sew that together after we stuff it. So I'm just going to trim off these threads because we don't have the cutter engaged. And to sew the bunny across the ears, the easiest way to do that is to basically open this up into a straight line like this and then sew across. I'm going to stick the corner of the bunny's ear underneath the presser foot and start stitching. See how I straightened out the ears and I'm just going to go right across the middle and start up the other side of the ear. And there we have it. Finished stitching. I'm going to trim this, these threads and pull a little bit to knot the thread. And then trim off these long tails. Next, take a small amount of polyfill stuffing and stuff the bunny. This little bit I'll stuff up into the ear. You have a poking stick or a pencil or something that can be helpful to get the stuffing into the tip of the ear. And I'll stuff the other ear and then I'll add some stuffing into the body sections and I'll be back and show you how to finish the bee. Push the polyfill up a little bit from the opening and then we're going to surge from around here over here overlapping the stitches from before. So there he's finished. I'm going to trim these threads close and then give them a little tug to knot them up and trim off the excess thread. I can then shift the polyfill so it fills up the bottom section where I pushed it up a little bit. So this bunny is finished and ready to be decorated. Next I'll show you on the sewing machine. Thread your sewing machine with matching thread in the top and bobbin. Set the machine to a zigzag and a short stitch length. The same as when we sewed with the serger, I'm going to start sewing from the tip of the ear along the side and then stop to leave an opening down at the bottom. And then I will start at this tip, sew down, stop, then we'll sew across the ears. Then after stuffing the bunny, we'll sew this opening closed. When you're sewing the zigzag, have the, le the left, when it goes down on the left side, it'll be on the fabric. And when it's on the right side, it will be off the fabric. And this will wrap the thread around the edge, kind of in a similar way that the serger does. When you get to the corner or the little divot, stop with your needle down, pivot, and keep sewing. So there's half the bunny sewn, and I'm going to sew the other side now the same way and we'll be back. Take a small amount of polyfill and this piece is for, it is for the ears, one of the ears, and stuff the button. 
use a pencil or some kind of point to get the stuffing up into the tips of the ears. I'll be back in a few minutes after I have the bunny stuffed. Next we're going to sew the opening close. I pushed the polyfill up a little bit so it's out of the way and I'm going to start stitching a little bit before and end a little bit after where I stitched before. I'm also going to back tack at the start and the end. And then squish it a little bit to get the polyfill down into the bottom of the bunny. And now we're ready to decorate the bunny. To decorate the bunny, tie a piece of ribbon or twine around its neck or lace. With fabric glue, you can glue a little palm on the back, on the bunny's back for his tail. Let it dry completely and the bunnies are finished. Once you get started, these will stitch up very fast. So gather your fabric scraps and stitch up these cute bunny decorations. Use the link in the description to click on over to our website and get the free pattern template. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other sewing tutorials and free projects. While you're there, sign up for our weekly newsletter so you won't miss new tutorials. Happy sewing!